Ten thirty-eight. Uh, go, Ying, going to war. This is all. This is going to be the entirety of Deuteronomy chapter twenty. <laughs> Around Israelite fighting things. When you go to war against your enemies and see horses and chariots and an army greater than yours. Do not be afraid of them, because the Lord your God, who brought you up out of Egypt, will be with you. Well, first they have to conquer the land, so that's war. And other nations are going to try to evade them for their wonderful resources and food, because they think they can get it for themselves when it's just Israel being blessed. That too, and literally... That's what ancient countries did. They went to war with each other every, like, spring. Because there's nothing better to do whatsoever back then. So, yeah, we have an entire section devoted to war. When you are about to go into battle, the priest shall come forward and address the army. He shall say... Dear Israel, today you are going into battle against your enemies. Do not be faint-hearted or afraid. Do not panic or be terrified by them. For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you victory. The uh, the officer shall say to the army, Has anyone built a new house and not yet begun to live in it? Let him go home, or he may die in battle, and someone else may begin to live in it. Has anyone planted a vineyard and not begun to enjoy it? Let him go home, or he may die in battle, and someone else enjoy it. Has anyone become... Has anyone become pledged to a woman and not married her? Let him go home, or he may die in battle and someone else marry her. Wow, this is way better than actually well, my military. Hey, um, I just got a new home, or I just got engaged. I don't care, you're going to war! <laughs> this, oh, 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 in that case, yeah, you, yeah, go, go. Live your life <laughs> first before you sacrifice. <laughs> like, wow, this is actually pretty nice. Then the officers shall add, If is anyone f afraid or faint-hearted, let him go home, so this, so that his fellow soldiers will not become disheartened too. So in other words, if you're scared, you can go home too. Wow, this is actually a pretty nice military. You just got engaged. Well, you can go home, get married, have kids. Live a life. Enjoy wine. Have a house. And if you're scared, you can leave. You don't have to go to war. That's actually pretty nice. When the officers have finished speaking to the army, they shall appoint commanders over it. When you march up to attack a city, make its people offer an offer of peace. If they accept and open their gates, all the people in it shall be subject to forced labor and shall work for you. If they refuse to make peace, and they enrage you, in, and they engage you in battle, they siege to that city. When the Lord your God delivers it into your hand, put the sword to all men in it. As for the women and children, and the livestock, and everything else in the city, you may take these as plunder for yourselves, and you may use the plunder... The Lord your God gives you from your enemies. 
This is how you are to treat all of the cities that are at a distance from you and do not belong to the nations nearby. However, in the cities of the nations the Lord your God is giving you, as an inheritance, do not leave alive anything that breathes. Completely destroy them. The Hebrew term for term refers to the irrevocable of the irrevocable giving over of things, persons to things or persons to the Lord, often by totally destroying them. <coughs> um, Hittites, Amorites, one M, not two. I just still don't know how to pronounce that differently enough. Oh well. I'm sure I'll find it. Canaanites, Parasites, Hivites, and Jebusites, as the Lord your God has commanded you. Otherwise, they will teach you to follow all the detestable things they do in worshiping their gods, and you will sin against the Lord your God. When you lay siege to a city for a long time, fight against it to capture it. Do not destroy its trees by putting an axe to them, because you can eat their fruit. Do not cut them down. Uh, are these trees people that you should besiege them? <coughs> yeah, besieging a tree seems kind of dumb. Anyway... However, you may cut down trees that you know are not fruit trees and use them to build siege works until the city at war with you falls. So, in other words, you can't cut down fruit trees. 1046.